right. Junk. And if you missed anything there, it is gone now. <laughs> Remember your training. Most beasts only rarely look up. Hide up high. Move low and slow. And boxes from Red Wall. Oh, spider web. <laughs> Since it's here, I might as well pick it. I don't know how that works, but it does, apparently. I don't know why I open it. It's a, it's a challenge that I already done, but hey. Which is to open all the um, the doors and turn on those lights here. There, bathed in silver moonlight, the Lily Grove catacomb stood as a grand, if dusty, example of the craftsmanship of the moles. Long centuries before the spectacular vault was built by the mighty Runebro clan, in celebration and gratitude of all that Lady Grove had become in its heyday, which even then was long, long ago. And though its splendor had faded in the steady flow of time, it was, and still is, one of the most majestic sights in all of Mossflower Country. I don't know why, just fun. <laughs> uh, you gain absolutely... N ah, there's someone over there. Hello there. Oh my, thank the stars, it's so good to see you. Uh, hold now, aren't you one of the Rhymeade girls? What are you doing dressed as a scout? Mrs. Ivy Wayne. I am a scout. I just graduated this evening for your information. Oh dear me, I didn't mean to offend, my dear. I just didn't expect. Uh, well, no matter. You're here now. Whatever are you going to do? Me? Well, I'm, I'm not quite sure. This is all happening so quickly. But I, I'll do my best to uphold my oath. You can count on me. Hmm, I see. Uh, one, one quick second. Here, Miss Ida Wayne. I'll crank you up to your shop cellar using this. Alright. Oh, yeah. If you don't want to rescue them, then you just walk past them, pretty much. And Dora Bella is... Twin sister of Belladora. <laughs> uh, Alright, all right, let's go. Let's save some more. That's 
That's a rat over there. Hello. there. Oyster Lou, up and down them circle stairs. My back will snap before night soon, just you see. No matter. Uh, let's see, there was something you did here. Um. Probably should just ignore this and let Liam be with it. Yeah, uh, let, let's do that. <laughs> let's just play through this. Oh, he's still Lou, up and down them circle stairs. My back will snap before night soon, just you see. No man, plenty of strong. Oh, there's another one there. Well, below us, okay. Oh. Well, looks like I need to do this then. one that was. I have no idea which one that was. What am I looking for though? What's this? Tavern inventory. Tavern inventory there. Just look away, please. It ends. No. Ah, shit. All right. Uh, he saw me somehow. For you who didn't notice. How did I even get down here? Probably through one of the homes, but. Think about it. This kind of reminds me of the. Uh, he heard something. I'm gonna find you. Uh, the most flower total war mod. Some uh, models haven't been. Uh, 
has some uh, some captain models or even some models are just completely uh, <coughs> chrome like and this kind of reminds me of that hey this guy mr consilk i didn't expect to see you down here are you quite all right oh surprised are we and why is that now Perhaps you mean to say you hope not to find me down here safe and alive, instead of stuck on a pike, eh? Well, no, nothing of the sort. I only meant your tavern keg vault is likely the safest hiding place in the whole village. Yes, well, it would have been, except I was in the middle of rotating stock when the brutes arrived. But never mind that now. You're a scout, right? Isn't it your job to take care of such things? Get me out of here. Yeah, sure. What's taking? Let's try this, Mr. Corn Silk. A dude at the mall. Uh, but should get you to the shop cellar just fine. The same guy that tells the police to fuck off. It's the same police <laughs> guy that tells the police to do their job. Letter to mummy, yes. Ten. Dip in the grapes. Right. <coughs> right, whatever this is. Uh, never figured out this use, but hey, -ho. and now we're stuck with uh, his alertness over there. There's more flour in here than a bakery. Some rats actually have a pretty nice looking outfit, so I will admit. And oh yeah, we need a key. No, we don't actually, then we can ignore this area for now. And that Belladora, right? Just look at you! A new Lily Grove Scout! Oh, your gentle mother must be so very proud. Oh, you needn't bother your whiskers about me. I've lived in my sister's shadow my whole life, I have. Hiding in dark corners underground is easier by far. <laughs> Still, now that you're here, I would prefer to be a bit safer. You're very kind, Miss Ivy Wayne. Thank you. Let me see what I can do about getting you someplace safe. With a warm dram of port, I hope. Over here then. Hop in, and I'll hoist you up to the shop cellar. Watch your tail. Um. And there should be a... Uh... Might as well. Well then.
Alright, uh... So we did this again. It might as well pick it up since it's here. Defense declaration, eh? Things I haven't found any more of these uh, things that you um, that was not what you did, apparently. Yes, I think. Hmm. I messed up, by the way. Yeah, uh, I I messed up. I messed up. Okay, see me then. Yeah, I messed up. Are you sure that's what happened? Just kidding. gonna take forever to try and remember. Look out down below! Or maybe... Look up. One, one out of two. And we can just jump here. No fall damage. Thank you. What was that? Let's make a artwork down here where no one will see it ever. <coughs> a little shame in a way. Hold on, what's that? Ah, there. Right on the other side. Where do these catacombs open up? That would be quite the view, and quite the drop. I used to think Badgers built this place, given all these statues, but Thomas says it's actually moles. Hmm. 
There's something unsettling and hauntingly familiar about those weeping mice. Ah. I can't quite <laughs> place it. <laughs> Was this place always so run down? As a kid, it looked so bright and shiny new. I believe if you do not help the uh, the uh, survivors or whatever you might want to call them, then you can actually zoom in on them or one one of them. Oops, didn't mean that. What was this place? A temple, or maybe a mausoleum? I'll have to ask Pickerel. If he'll even bother answering me. There's something unset. Right. Uh, let's check. There were some people here. I... Okay, I read that one. Um, just remembered. I also hate to bother anyone or <laughs> with anything, so uh, yeah. Clicking too fast. Seen one of you in a while. Bloodwealth is down here, ain't he? Always peeking and poking and trying to get my eyes. Mayhaps I'll get his eye on the end of my dagger. I need a plan, I do. The sergeant will make a move for second mate tonight, I'm sure. See, you do this by doing that. <clears throat> Sorry if I'm be mumbling for for the entire video. I do know that I do mumble a lot. And since it's here, I might as well pick it. And something when you can. Whoops, it is. Um, managed to touch my uh, counter up there, if you can see it. That counts the time up there, the length of my play. So, um, oops. Another thing I gotta do is to get him back in there. <laughs> oh, you moron.
Oh, there it is. Oh yeah, the dude can't figure for the life of him how the bell rang on his own. Joink? Huh? Don't think I have a f Bloomberg. Hmm. Oh, I am. Alright. Um. And there you are. Oh, for fucks. Oh, no. Again, come on. Uh. Yep, we have gone the whole way around. And they do saw us, but they can't do anything. Here we are. Despite the urgency of the situation on the surface, Sophia found herself compelled to lend aid to those frightened and desperate beasts. And as the last one ascended to safety, she found her own animus surprisingly calm. Her anxiety for Liam greatly diminished, and in its place, a determination and resolve that she'd never felt before. Even now, she was embracing the values of Red Wall before ever hearing its charter or passing its gates. Mr. Cornsilk, I wanted to check on you. Are you all right? Why shouldn't I be all right? I'm not an invalid. A few grey hairs doesn't make me helpless, you know. Of course not. I only meant... well, I'm not sure, really. I'm now in the Scout Corps, and I'm on a mission from Captain Robin, but came down here to lend any aid I could. Do you need any help? Not from a whelp like you, I don't. Just how long have you been a scout, anyway? All of three hours, I reckon. I can manage quite well on my own. All right, fine. <laughs> if they say they're fine on their own, take their word for it. I am sure that King Harlos of the Swabians would love this reps that recipe. Alright. Boo. I'm so happy to see you're healthy and whole again, Miss Ivy Wayne. I believe you'll be safe here. All on account of you, dear girl. I'm quite in your debt. And rather inspired. I think I shall write a poem in honor of you and your handsome bow. Liam? Have you seen him? Is he all right? He was when I saw him last. Surely no more than an hour ago. More than all right. He was positively heroic. Your Liam was like a one-mouse flying squad. Leaping between thwacking rats and rescuing civilians. I doubt my sister Dorabella nor I would be here right now if he hadn't pulled us from a fire. Oh, what was that? I don't know why, but you, but you can pick up a violin or some shit <laughs> around here somewhere. Take this back here. Your own violin. Don't know what to do with it, but.
So I have found a two of four cents in here. That's for Liam to do. Now we're just gonna play through this. And apparently there is oh, no don't sound. Oh, so surprised. Many of the, shall we say, more upwardly mobile members of Lively Grove Society use these old catacombs for storage and occasional gatherings. Of course, all the icky, filthy things were cleaned out long ago, and Pickerel at least keeps it lit. But it does get rather damp this time of year. That mouse is, how might I say this, um, eccentric. He actually lives down here somewhere as the self-proclaimed caretaker. I imagine he's harmless enough, but only seen once every season or two. Oh. Someday I expect him to perish down here all alone, not to be known until the stench alerts my delicate nostrils. Right, how do I get out of here again? There. Alright, so. Thank you all for watching. Hope you all enjoyed. And I see you all next time. Farewell. As Sophia ascended from the ancient catacombs, she emerged at the feet of an enormous creature. A beast of kind she'd never seen before. With a fat, stubby tail, no ears to be seen, and a vile, stinking slobber dripping from his diseased jowls. Several rats circled about him, throwing down their collected loot at his feet, like sacrifice to some heathen shrine. All the while simpering and falling for his approval, and being beat as often as they were congratulated. At each interaction, they'd speak his name like a curse. Scum snout. So this was the leader of their raiding party, and Sophia could see why. He towered over his minions and wielded the gigantic mace as if it were a twig. A flick of his wrist and any nearby rat would crumble or sail into the nearest wall. He was a monster if ever such a word applied, and he knew it full well. Sophia? Is that you? Oh, it is! Liam! What happened? Are you alright? Oh, if I get my paws on that scurvy, disgusting rat that did this to you, I'll... That... that thing... It was no rat, to be sure. I don't know what it is. Oh, it's towering, it's foul. I nearly took my arm off, lest I walloped him in the jowls. Oh, Sophia, you have to get away from here. Before he sends you. Nothing will keep me from you. Not even a grangy monstrosity. Remember the vows we prepared? Not mountain, nor sea, nor raging storm. I don't need a vow and a ceremony to seal my promise to you, Liam Rivermouse. He's a killer, Sophia. Not a storm. Look here. I am a scout now. And I have a job to do. So you just sit tight. I'll be here shortly. 